Avast virus database has been updated. Hello, hello. Yvonne, are you there? Hi, Michael. Hello, how are you? Michael. Uh, can you, Yvonne, yes, Yvonne, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you well. Okay. So, Yvonne, can I, is it possible to edit that document that the idiom's the second part here? I'm trying to just uh, to write near it. Maybe I don't have the right one I'm looking on uh, you you gave me a link do you still have that link from before when you put it on Google Drive uh, you want me to give you the link to the idioms yeah yeah remember the where we were e editing that 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 part there uh, we were putting uh, some of the definitions in there do you still have that link because you had you, you put it on your Google Drive ah, yeah, it, perfect yeah. okay so we'll just Hopefully all the students get that. So let's going back to, and it didn't save them to, to that point. I suppose it didn't. Okay, it did not save them. Do you remember where exactly we were at, which section, I believe? Hold your horses, hit the sack, icing on the cake, kick the bucket, knock on. I believe we were around, around. Uh, Somewhere in the middle. Yeah, somewhere in the middle. So let's start with uh, hit the books. I don't think I don't think we even did that. We can do that. We'll write stuff down. I'm pretty sure I can write. Yep, I can write. So uh, mm -hmm. hit the books. Any idea what this means? Uh, maybe it's uh, it means to learn uh, a lot or to study or I don't know something like this. No. To study. Yeah. Well, why do we use it? Hmm, let's see. To study quick, I don't know. Yeah, time. to like to hit the books hard, like to uh, read a lot of books. No, to hit the books. To study in a quick map matter. Ah, this is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, to study in a quick matter. Okay. All right. Uh, hit the hay. Hit the hay. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe uh, not not only the meaning of these idioms, but also the examples. So let's say the examples. Um, okay, I'll try to give you an example. Uh, I was so tired yesterday, I hit the hay. Mm, I don't know. To to go to sleep, to hit the hay. The hay is where you sleep. Uh huh. So to, it means that uh, to, go uh, to go to bed, hit the hay. But well, can I say that I will hit the hay in five minutes? I will go to sleep in five minutes. I'm going to hit the hay in five minutes. You sure? Hit the hay in five minutes. Mm, okay. You hit the nail on the head. Or hit the, the nail, nail on the head. Yes. Mm, I don't know. Hit the nail on the head. I don't know. Okay. Well, you know, when you're hitting something with a hammer, 
You can hit the drywall part. You don't have to hit the nail if you're not good. But what if you hit the nail right on its, on its head? What would that say about you? Uh, it's like you you got the point, or you you know you hit the nail on the head. Let's go back. I gotta find my space here again. Hit the hill. Let's go back here. Oh yeah, I have it on the. Uh, just lost it here. Hit the head. Yeah, right there. Sure. Um, talk. Uh, hit the head. So yeah, we can. We can say sure. Like yeah, uh, you you got the the point. Right on. Yeah. Uh, to give you an example, I don't know. Do you want to go with the sentence first, or do you want me to? Yeah, try to because I should. I cannot. I cannot do this. Huh? Uh, uh, how can I say this? Do 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 do. Uh, he's always correct. He always hits the nail on the head. You know, he's always uh, he, always he, accurate. You know. Uh, accurate in what way? You know, in anything like uh, for doing something, uh, if he's right always, you know, you hit the nail on the head. He's always mm -hmm. right. Is it the same, right? Yeah, like, uh, you know, you knew your mother-in-law was coming. You hit the nail right on the head there. You know, like, uh -huh. you're, you're, you're absolutely correct. Uh -huh. Usually it's the person who gets it right the first time. Huh? You know, not uh -huh, okay. messes. Uh, hit the sack is the same thing, to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. The sack. To go to hold. sleep. Yep. H hold your horses. Uh, as, uh, hold your horses. <laughs> it means uh, I know what it means, but uh, is you have it in Ukrainian too? Is it the same or no? Yeah, like yeah, we have the same. Uh, it's like uh, uh, stop what you are doing. No, it's not um, uh, no, no, not very quickly. Don't hurry. Don't yeah, hurry. yeah, yeah. Don't don't uh, hur uh, well, worry. Don't don't hurry. Be patient. Yeah. Example, Miguel. Do you have an example? A sentence? Uh, no, no. I mm -hmm. have. I как Жень, как надо. I have. Um, Sometimes you do have to think about it. Ivan, no? Do you have any? No? Example? Or? Um, <laughs> I have an example. Hold your horses. Uh, uh, you are doing it the wrong way. Hold your horses. You're doing it the wrong way. Yeah, maybe to stop. Or, you know, a child who always wants the candy. You know, I want to go here. I want to go there. Hold your horses. Wait. Shakai. Uh -huh, wait. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> the parents always say shakai shakai to their children. They could say, they said, tell them hold your horses and see what the expression is. All right. Uh, okay. uh, oh, it was so easy. It's icing on the cake. Ice. Wait, 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 wait. Icing on the cake. No, I got that right. Icing on the cake. I know this. But I don't use this. Okay, no, no. I, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Oh, but how do I give you uh, like a. Not like an example, but a little hint, a uh, question. Um, give me one second here. Give me one little second here. It was icing on the cake. I would say... What did I say? Because I don't use this too often, actually. Um, okay. Um, when you buy a cake, right, where's the good part, usually? Uh, the, the, the best part or the worst? The best part. The best when you eat it. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Or what? Huh? The, the icing's the best part. It's sweet. Not I not roshen right, cake. Right, right, right. You yeah. know, not roshen cakes because roshen ones that they're not sweet. They're different. But if it, if there's icing on the cake, right? It's the best mm -hmm. part of the cake. So it's the the best part of something. Uh -huh, okay. Icing on the cake because everyone likes icing. In North America, I don't know in Germany there, but it's very sweet tasting. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to. I'm, I don't know how to say it's the icing on the cake. I don't. I can't even give you an example right now. But uh, it takes two to tango. Uh, uh, takes two to tango. It means that you have to have. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? 
No, I don't hear this sentence. It well, could tango. Maybe, Michael, could, uh, could you explain this? Well, tango is a is a, is a, is a, is a, is a dance, right? So if you need two people to dance and it takes two to yeah, tango, it's it's. Uh -huh. no it case. takes two people to do something. Uh, Michael, you use uh, this file. Which this file? What, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm, I'm this link, uh, Evgeny sent link. Uh, it's uh, your file, no? Yes. Uh, uh, could you maybe you share with uh, all uh, because I have not um, oh. access. There, there's a, a, a Ivan posted the link here. Uh, uh, I can't. Sometimes I can't. I can give you access, but sometimes it. Uh, I'll, I'll try again. Hold on. Mm -hmm. One it, second. Uh, uh, okay. I, you have. You have the. Do you have um, access? Uh, one second. I open it. Um, uh, give access. Okay. Give access. Okay. I gave access. Uh, uh, one second. I, I try to open. Uh huh. Okay. So to, for takes two to tango, it takes two. Uh, Michael, I, I'm sorry. I uh, uh huh. Oh, one, one second. I open. But 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 uh, it's a um, it's a closed fi file. Uh, here we see uh, Evgeny and uh, I see him. see it. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I see you at I, uh, I idioms, and then it says like a chip on your shoulder, a dime a dozen, we're all the way down. Okay, I see. It takes two to tangle. I see someone in pink is on that. Uh, Yvonne is in the pink is on there. So I guess it could say, well, uh, uh, you know, how do we say this? Hmm, uh, the woman got pregnant. I guess it takes two to tangle. You know, like someone has to create the baby with her, right? So it takes two people to do something, you know? So mm -hmm. we can use that as example. Uh, yeah. you, I use that during teenage pregnancy, you know? Gee, how does she get pregnant? It takes two people to tangle, you know? Like, can I use that? Keep your chin up. Uh, your chin. You know what your chin is? Chin with his chin, but the right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We chin have up. the same. Yeah, we have the same. Держи хвост пистолетом. Okay, well, give it to me in a sentence. Mm, everything will be all right. Keep your chin up. Yeah. Uh, to be positive or have a good outlook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, kick the bucket. Kick the bucket. I don't know. What's a bucket? You know what a bucket is? No. How to translate this? Kick the kick kick the bucket. A bucket is like a pail. You know what a pail is? Mm -hmm, no. It, it means to die. I don't know why it means to die. I don't know. It means to die, from, from my understanding, to kick the bucket. Uh, it's a slang term, but uh, there's a lot of theories. So I'm looking at one expression to, to use here. But uh, and according to this, it says it's an English idiom that is defined as to die. It is considered uh -huh. euthanic and formal slang. Okay, and, and it's a slang term, but it, it remains unclear. But you know, I never hear people use it, but I kind of I left it on the list here. So I'm going to put to die in, in slang uh, terms. Maybe it's something serious. Uh, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Um, it's like, I know, we, we have the same. Knock on wood. Uh, when you want to something not to happen, you knock on wood. Can you give me a sentence? Um, please knock on wood, like uh, for something not to happen. We, for example, when you are saying, for example, you are talking about your dog, and um, you are saying, oh, well, if if he will uh, run against the car, he will, it will die." And uh, I say, oh, no, "Knock on on wood, not to happen for yeah. this not to happen." Right? Yeah, or, yeah, you can use it. Or my throat is finally feeling better. Knock on wood. 
So it's something to, to, to say that something good or something bad will happen. Yeah. It yeah. could be good or bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm so happy it hasn't rained yet, knock on wood. You know? Mm -hmm. um, oh, know the ropes. The ropes? What is the ropes? Rope. Virovka. Virovka? Virovka. Virovka. No, the ropes. Any idea? Uh, oh, how do I give this an example? Um, just to, 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 to tell you guys. Uh, it's always good to, to, uh, to know the ropes while you're driving. Not to know the route? The rules. Ah, uh, rules. Yeah. To, well, we can say to know, to know how to, to do something. Like, in this case, driving. You know, well, to drive, you need to know how to do the rules. You need to, well, you need rules for driving, and as well as you need to know how to drive physically, right? I mean, you just can't, uh, you know, use a car and just drive on your own. You have to go to driving school, for some people. Uh, let the cat out of the, ca out of, out of the bag. The uh, cat out of the bag. Uh, out of the bag. I know the cat in the bag. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but out is on the back, I don't know what is it. The cat, cat out of the bag. I don't know. It's something uh, uh, which is that is unknown. Cat in the back, no? Something bad to happen. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess you could say... You forgot the, uh, oh, how can I say this? You forgot to close the door. And people are going to come in. You let, the, you let the cat out of the bag. You know, like, okay, or maybe, you know, uh, uh, let's say you're a security guard and, not a security guard, but you're a, a store manager and you had to lock up the doors and uh, you couldn't do it. You left it unlocked. Well, you know, we could say you let the cat out of the bag. People can come in now. You know, mm -hmm. so something bad can happen. No, it's a possibility. We don't know if anyone will come in. No, maybe someone doesn't know the doors on the lock, right? So we don't know. Yeah. Loose cannon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You're, you're always a loose cannon. You're always a loose cannon. You're always angry. Uh, what is a cannon? Uh, you know, in the war they had a cannon. You know, boom. Cannon. A big ball, cannonball. No, I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, you you have like a a match and you like the match and it and it uh, and there's a big cannon, uh, a little big cannon and the ball comes out of it. Pushka, pushka. Uh -huh. you, you know, do you know what I mean or no? Mm, yeah, no, we know. Или каньон. Hold on a second, I gotta. A cannon, a cannon, a cannon. One, one second. Cannon. Uh, here, I got an example. Right here. Just uh, let me paste it in Google. Um, how do I go? Oh, yes. Okay. So if I said you're a loose cannon, you know, a cannon is like, uh, when it goes off, <laughs> it does a lot of destruction, you know? Mm -hmm. so any idea if I said you're a loose cannon, what that means? I don't know. You have a hot temper. Mm -hmm. Hot temper. What is a temper? Character. Ну, типа, не, не такой жестокий или как, типа, в таком смысле, да? Someone with the yeah. Can you give me an example? Loose cannon, someone wants to try? Yeah. I really don't know. I cannot use it. No? No. The teacher at work, he's always yelling at people. He's a loose cannon. Uh, he's losing his temper, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, good. 
As you, we use it to describe people. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Mumble jumble. Mm -hmm. Is that the same mm -hmm. brush, maybe, no? No, I don't know what it is. Mumble jumble. He always um, speaks in mumble jumble to me. Uh, he's uh, mumbling. He, he, you don't, you don't know what uh, his language is or what. He's always the, using big words. You know, uh, big words, uh, not under. Mm -hmm. uh, I see in the translator, it's a fetish in the Russian. Fetish, you know. Mm -hmm. Mumble jumble. You know, people who talk in IT sometimes they talk mumble jumble. Yeah. Is it something that you don't know, right? Something no. you don't know, like something not understandable, usually big words, you know? Big words mean you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Mumble jumble. Jumble, it has to be big. When we say jumble, we mean big. Yeah, jumble jet, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mum's the word. I don't know. No idea? No. It means to, hmm, how can I say, this is real English, uh, yeah, this is like real, you know, old English style. Um, what it means, because I can't even give you an example, like to give a secret, you know, without telling what it is. To, after to tell the, the, tell a secret and to close your lips afterwards. So, if someone says, don't tell anyone, the other person says, Mum's the word. It means they won't tell anyone. So to keep your lips closed and not tell a secret. No. So it's when, it, some, when you say you lip. Yeah. Could you use it in the in the center somehow? I did. I used it as a response. So if someone says to you, Yvonne. Don't tell anyone. And you said, mum's the word. It means you won't tell anybody. You'll keep a secret. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You use, were you, so a lot of idioms in English we use as responses. We just don't use them in direct sentences. Uh -huh, okay. One word expression. That's it. All right? Mm -hmm. Oh, off on the wrong foot. Uh, never bite? No. This one. Off on the wrong foot. You got off on the wrong foot. I don't Come on, know. When, when you're when you're walking, you usually know what what uh, foot to walk with, right? Mm -hmm. So if you walk on the wrong foot, what happens? You will fall. That too, but you started something incorrectly. Uh -huh, okay. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can say, oh, I don't know. He ran that red light by accident. I guess he was off on the wrong foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He started something incorrectly. Off the hook. So if the teacher says to the class, "All right, students, you don't have to do the homework. You're off the hook for t this evening." Mm. You're off the hook. You, uh, you are free. You're free. No responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the fence. On the fence. Fence is like uh, what is it? Fence. Zabor. Uh, on the fence. In the village, you see lots of fences. You know, they, they separate the houses. Mm -hmm. I know, I know what is fence, but I don't know what is on the fence. So if you're on the fence, uh, you don't know what, okay, so hmm, if you're on the fence, there's like a left and right side. You don't, you're, you're on the fence, you don't know what side to take. Mm -hmm. I'm on the fence, um, you know, like if, if, if you have like three people and uh, you know, two people are in an argument, and they ask you, "What do you think?" And you could say, "Well, I'm on the fence." You don't, you don't, you don't have like an opinion. 
I mean, mm -hmm. I think if, if you don't have an opinion, I'm just going to double check. But I'm pretty sure it's when you don't have an opinion. One second. Yeah, you can't decide something. So when I use that in an example with uh, like two people and you're the third person and they ask you, well, what's your opinion? You, and you say, oh, well, I'm on the fence. It means you, you don't make a decision. You know, so a lot of people, like in politics, they're on the fence because they can't make a decision. You know, um, an example, a good example, many consumers are still on the fence waiting to see if a better, less expensive computer will come along. So if you're on the fence, you, you, you can't make a decision. Okay. Now, why cats go on the fence, that's another story. Because when I was in the village Sunday, there's lots of cats sitting on the fence. So, interesting. Maybe there's a correlation. Uh, on the same page. Uh, on the same page, I know. Uh, we're on the same page, just like we have a, a similar opinion on something. Yep. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example? Is there maybe a... Yeah, you understand what I'm saying. We are on the same page. Exactly. Good. You have the same in Russian, or how did you know that? Mm, I've heard this phrase before. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay. Yeah. But you're you're right there. There's no problem with what you said. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, out of the blue. Out of the blue. I don't know. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. I saw that deer out of the blue. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe something about sky? No. Well, no. if you saw a deer, I mean, deers go fast, right? I mean, you hardly see them. I saw that deer out of the blue. Come on, they run. They go they go across like, you know, from one side to another side, right? And usually they get hit by a car. I don't Someone know. Else? No. To see something unexpected. Mhm. Mm out of the blue, ah, внезапно, ага. It, it went something out of the blue, right? Yeah. Like a deer. You see, you see it out of the blue. It comes and goes. It's fast, you know? Out on a limb. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to help you. Any idea what that means? Out on a limb. I don't know. I see in the translator. It's a... Трудном <laughs> положении. <laughs> it's a hard uh, uh, situation. Yeah, something like that. It's a hard situation. Uh, but, you know, I kind of used it, uh, like, like, um, I'll, you know, if a friend needs help, I could say, I'll go out on a limb for you, so, like, I'll, I'll go the extra mile, I'll, 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 I'll give you that extra help. Oh, okay. So, it's, like, it's just, like, a situation where you lack support. Uh-huh. You know, okay. so, uh -huh. when someone needs that extra help or something like that, so, you know, to go out on a limb for a person, you're going to help them that extra mile. That you know, that's the best I've when I've used it. I don't. I haven't used it personally, but other people have used it that I know. Over my dead body. Mm -hmm. you, you can do it on the over my dead body, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, give me, what does it mean? That means you will not do this. Yeah, you uh, like it, like you know, like a rejection of doing something by somebody. Yeah, if, if your mother, you know, when you're young, she says you're not going out at eleven o'clock over my dead body. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Your body's not dead. Why uh -huh. it's an idiom? Pedal to the metal. Hmm. This is something familiar, but I don't know what is it. Well. Everyone knows what the gas pedal is in the car? 
Yeah. So, any ideas there? But why, why, ah, to the metal, uh, pedal to the metal, mm -hmm. like, um, you know, you, you accelerate something. Yeah, go fast. Yeah, until it can't move anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to yeah. to move so far that you can't move further. So maybe an example, we can say, I'm gonna go so fast, I'm gonna go pedal to the metal. You know, see what happens. And uh, maybe maybe that has to do with metal touching metal. You know, you have to go so far to let metal touch something else. I don't know. Can't really analyze that video. Pig out. Let's let's eat. Pig out. Cool cool. Pig out. Maybe about here. Something about clear. Clearing. No. To eat like pigs. Uh, How do pigs eat? I don't. I, I, I don't know how to say dirty. Maybe. No. <laughs> dirty. Exactly. Do pigs have manners? No. So if you pig out, you eat like a pig. Mm -hmm. You know, no manners. You try to eat everything. I, I don't really watch pigs eat, but they're pretty yeah. good when they eat, when they eat. Pipe down, he said. Pipe down. Pipe down. Uh, pipe. What is a pipe? Truba. Jane. Truba. That cursor truba. Truba. Yep. I don't know. Pipe. I don't know. To pull pipe something down. down. No. You you talk so much. Pipe down. Uh, uh, keep it short or no? Stop! To to stop talking so much. Stop talking. Yeah, stop talking so much. Uh -huh. Practice makes perfect. Uh, Give me a sentence. Yeah, the same as we have. Um, um, it's just the sentence. Uh, I cannot give you the example. It's just what we are using. Like when somebody is doing something uh, every, like all the time, right? Or uh, like um, very often, and do does it perfect? Yeah. Then like, you say uh, that great right, like, is perfect. Yeah, like old Babushka was learning how to drive. The police officer told her practice makes perfect. Don't yeah. hit anyone. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say practice makes perfect. I would. I would say, good practice makes perfect, because you can practice really badly. You think yeah. if if you're learning to drive and you hit everybody, you think you're going to be a good driver after? No, you're still going to hit someone. Yeah. yeah. So good practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. But this is an idiom, so we can't analyze it like that. Pull the plug. Uh, he was on life support for 30 days, and we told the doctors to pull the plug. Uh, what is a plug? I, I don't remember. You know, in the rosetka. You know, you put it in the rosetka. Uh, ah, okay. The plug. Okay, okay. I understand. Stecker. Right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it may, maybe it's um, uh, uh, to, uh, to 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 do something or something like that. Turn yeah. off something. What? Turn off something. Turn, turn off. Mm -hmm. So if you pull the plug out of the TV, what happens? It will turn off. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You don't have to do that. You have a switch. But we use as an idiom, pull the plug. We don't mean pull the plug, though. You know? When someone says, pull the plug on the TV, they mean to turn it off. Uh -huh. I'm just pulling your leg. What is pulling your leg? 
He can't take a joke because I'm, I'm just pulling his leg. I don't know. No one else? No? To tell a joke! Uh, uh -huh. mm. okay. Put a sock in it. He keeps talking. I told him to put a sock in it. I don't know. It's, it's like too many. Yeah, so, so they are so completely different idioms that from the ones that we have in our language. They're different. Yeah, they are a bit different. Well, because we have different mentality. That's why. Yeah, maybe maybe let's go through the uh, through the CD idioms not so fast because uh, maybe maybe more, make more examples, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So put a sock in it. And no idea. If I said he puts a sock, well, he talks so much, and he was told to put a sock in it. Put a sock in it. What's a sock? Sock, uh, it's um, like the one that you put on your legs, right? On your feet. On your feet, right. Mm -hmm. So if, 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 you, if, if you put a sock in someone's mouth, what, can they still talk? No, there you go. I can, yeah, I understand what 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 that <laughs> Just stop talking. Yeah, stop talking, right? <laughs> okay. I don't know another example to give you, right? I mean, this is the common one. Yeah, Anyone yeah. wants to give another example? Nobody no, wants. No. To? no. Okay. Well, we'll move on. Rain check. Rain check. Mm. I don't know what, what, what is the rain check. It's a uh, 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 something about rain. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's nothing about rain. Uh, I asked the store if they had this in stock, and I said no. So I asked for a rain check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, to, to check? No, to I don't know. We usually use this word, uh, like if a store, if they don't have something in stock, we ask for a rain check. If we don't have in store, but well, I'm always asking to check if they have in stock, or if they have uh, somewhere else. Or no? a ticket given for later use. You know, like, you know how some people, they go on the, on the tram? And uh, they, they, some, sometimes the, the woman there, she doesn't uh, stamp the, the, the ticket, you know, uh, compost. Mm -hmm. So we can use it as a rain check. Mm -hmm. Because you can use it again on another tram, and she'll stamp it afterwards, so you get a free ride, basically. Uh -huh. So it's something to use at a later date. Right? So, um, in the magazine example, the shot, like a, a, a mall you go to, or like, and they give you a rain check, they give you like a piece of paper to give you, so you can use it as a later time. So, when it's in stock, you can use it to get it. Uh -huh. uh, like a like a ticket. So nobody uses that here in, in Europe. It's mostly like in North America. Mm -hmm. as as I know. Does it make sense? Yeah. Right. If I said rise and shine, what do you think that means? If I said rise and shine, what does rise mean? Uh, get up, no. Rise. Yeah. What does shine refer to? Shine with a C C A, da. Mhm. So when would I use rise and shine? When you're happy. No. Oh, why no? <laughs> when you're huh? getting up. When ah, when you're getting up. But when I'm getting up, I'm not <laughs> rising and shining. 
That's because in Ukraine we had a horrible weather. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, the rise and shine to get up. Oh, what am I writing here? Mm -hmm. uh, to get up, to get up early in. You know, when you're young, your mother can tell you, rise and shine, time to get up. You know, it's an early day, it's a fresh day. Get up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, early, early in the morning. Because it's not going to shine in the afternoon, it shines only in the morning. Sure. Mm -hmm. Look where the sun is. Oh, here we go. Rome was not built in one day. Uh, Moscow is not built in one day. Uh, yeah, we have the same. Like nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. No, no, nothing is like. Not, yeah, nothing. Nothing comes easy in life. Or you know, I don't know. We use it. Rome was not built in one day. You know, I, I guess like uh, to make something, it takes longer than what you expect. Because really, Rome was not built in one day. Come on, to make that, no, it take a long time. Yeah. Uh, a rule of thumb. It's uh, something uh, which is uh, oh. pilots. Uh -huh. mm. A rule of thumb. It's something that you cannot predict. No. Huh? It's like uh, like the first rule of a list. Like the rule of thumb is. You should do this, 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 this. It's like um, the first rules to follow. Uh, you know, like uh. usually we have like the first rules like in our thumb. Like this is what you should do, that what you should do, this what you should do. The first one's always your thumb. I don't know if that makes sense. Makes sense to you, uh, Miguel? Like the first rules that you follow, you go like this, 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 and that. Ah, okay, I I understand. If you, if you uh, try to uh, show uh, what is the uh, uh, first, the second, the numbers, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, the rule of thumb is the first one. Mm -hmm. You don't go backwards like this, you know. You don't know. You go like with your thumb first. Okay, I understand. Run out of steam. Выходить из себя, it's like to be very angry, no? Yeah, you run out of patience. Mm -hmm. Give me, no one give me a, a, an example? Um, you keep calm, you are running out of your steam. You've been working hard all day, you're going to run out of steam. Uh, this way. Close. Yeah. You know, like a, a choo choo train, steam steam train, you run out of steam, you run out of patience. What is a steam? I, I don't. Oh, okay. honey, like, uh, you know, from hot water, it creates steam. Far. Ah, okay. I understand. We're gonna okay scapegoat. We're gonna use you as a scapegoat. To get out of prison, we'll use you as a, an scapegoat. Huh, okay, I, I show. Uh, I see in the translator. <laughs> What's it mean to you? Uh, it's a, a person who. Uh, uh, who will be responsible even if he is not responsible? Это ответственно, да? Ответственно, да. Будет нести ответственность даже если он не должен нести. Yeah, to to use someone who will be responsible. Michael, your cat want to eat? <laughs> the rabbit. Ah, rabbit. <laughs> it was rabbit. No, no, he's he's okay. Just. It's just Chester. Chester's stupid. The rabbit, you know, is, is nice and, and smarter. It's just the cat. Chester is Chester. Uh, sick as a dog. So if I said, you know, you've been you've been sick as a dog all week. 
What do you what, what do you think I meant? You've been sick for so many weeks. You've been sick as a dog. Like uh, you were uh, ill. Well, okay. Well, we could just say you were ill, but not more, more specific. I don't know. To be very, to be very sick. Uh huh. Another example? Anyone? Maybe Evgeny tried to. I don't know. I I don't know the, the example. All right, I'll give you another one. Uh, he he, hmm. he had a cold for two weeks. He was sick as a dog. He was ill as a dog. He was very sick. Uh, yeah. Right. To be very sick. It's describing someone who's very sick. Sick mm -hmm. as a dog. So, that's the best way I can say it. In North America, we usually use it. North American slang. Sitting shotgun. I don't even know what this means. This must be British. No, it must be American because it has shotgun in it. Americans like guns. So, I, I have no idea what it means. Does anyone know what it means? No. You also don't have an idea? I don't know. I never heard of it. Hmm. I never heard of this. Actually, earning the right to ride in the front. Um, okay, earning the right to ride in the front, passing C. This is also a direct officer riding it whenever you're sitting. Earning the right to ride in the front, passenger seat. So maybe the shotgun is the, uh, we can think of it as the front seat of the car. You know, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. What's, uh, no, for me, no. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make much sense to me. Earning the right to ride in the front passenger seat. Well, why a sitting shotgun? I mean, are you going to kill someone in the car? So, I well, I picked this from the list here, but I didn't... Uh, I don't know why I even left it, but that's what it means. I, I, to be honest with you, I never use it in a situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't really matter because, to be honest with you, I never heard anyone really use it, so we don't even we even delete it. It's not going to sitting shotgun. Never even use it, so we'll delete it. Smell a rat. I smell a rat. I like this one. Smell a rat. Um, it means you know who is uh, a bad guy in the company, no? To know someone... Who, uh, to know someone who's playing against you, or so no, just to know someone who is uh, yeah, playing against you. Yeah. Because if you're a rat, what's that person doing? Yeah, he's playing against the team. Exactly. A sentence. A sentence. Um. Hmm. If he will not call you, that means that he is playing. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe if the uh, in the shop, if the uh, one of the uh, cashier, uh, cashier, cashier, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Steel. Steel. Stole? Uh, ah, so, как правильно, я что-то не помню. Стол. А что такое стол? Ну, если один человек, допустим, ворует, то he is... Uh, uh, If somebody is stealing, then he is... Smell a rat. Like a rat. No, 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 no. No? Uh, no? Тут типа smell это как... Uh, я знаю, I know who is, я знаю, кто ворует, типа, почувствовать, типа, крысу, кто крысячит, uh -huh. под нашим. Someone okay, like stole it. from my store, I smell a rat. Yeah, we understand what, what, is, what it means. Yeah, it's just hard to use it sometimes, it's hard to explain it, that's the thing. 
something sm smell something fishy. Mm, to know where the prophet is, no. No, 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 fishy. Something smells fishy. Well, something that smells bad. Or uh, rotten. No. Something isn't right. Uh, something isn't right. Hey, uh -huh. this door was open before, but I didn't do it. Something smells fishy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You got another example? Anyone? No. no. The rabbit was out of her cage, but I remember putting her back in, and the cat was out. I smell something fishy. Mm -hmm. yeah, Maybe well, the cat let her out. You know, he can do that. He knows how to. Mm -hmm. Son of a gun. Well, okay. Does everyone? You, but you understand, right, Miguel? Something to smell something fishy. Well, no, yeah. I understood this. All right. Son yeah. of a gun. I don't know. What, what, <laughs> what is it? Son of a gun. How do I use I use this all the time, but I don't, uh, some, of, some of the idioms, you use them, but you don't you don't know why you use them. That's the that's the whole son of a gun. It I it says British English here. Uh, you son of a gun, you did it. Yeah, but how do you explain this? I see. It, it's encouraging or to compliment. Yeah, to compliment someone. Like, you know, if someone says something, you can say, You son of a gun, you did it. Мошенник, прохинде. Is it uh, um, something good? Like we are saying this uh, because he did something good? Yes. Mm. I'm pretty sure. It says it's like an exclamation, and we use an exclamation to show importance for something. Это положительная часть. Это положительная часть. Okay. Wait, hold on. To to compliment someone, uh, use with okay. Uh, if we start from scratch, start from the beginning. Yes. Can you give me a sentence? Let's do let's start it from scratch because it doesn't work the way we did it. Mm -hmm. Intended it to be. Sure, I like that. Start from the beginning. Why scratch? I don't know. It's an idiom. You know? We don't know. Nobody mm -hmm. knows. Maybe scratch scratch paper. Scratch paper is like white paper. Ah, maybe that's why. Scratch paper is white paper. You write on, we call it. Oh? When you have white paper and nothing's on there, it's the beginning. Maybe that's where it came from. The ball is in your court. Uh, what is a court? It's like a, a tennis court, basketball court. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe it uh, it means um, something. Uh, you can do something with uh, first. Maybe something like that. Something yep. in your favor. What? Something that's in your favor. So if I said, Miguel, uh, today's your lucky day. You got the, the lottery ticket. The ball, I guess the ball is in your court. I hope you don't lose it. So if something's in your favor, you hold possession of it. You know what I mean? Like, okay, uh, if you're playing... Uh, not baseball, but if you're playing football, right? American or soccer, football. Uh, uh, you, football. Uh, you're, you're European, right? And you have the soccer ball, right? Mm -hmm. The ball is in your court. You, you have control. You have the favor. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Uh -huh. You can pass it to the player. If you're near the goal, you can shoot it in the goal post. So when something's in your favor in life, the ball is in your court until you pass it to someone else. So, to give you another example, uh, you know, if you're, if I said the, the, the guy's always lucky, I guess the ball is always in his, in his court. He's that shining star. It's his time. 
So I don't know how you could use it. I mean, usually we just use it as a response. You know, we know what it means. Sometimes we don't even use it, though. But yeah, definitely when something, a situation where it's in your favor, you will get something out of this. All right? Mm -hmm. The best of both worlds. I don't know. Maybe choose the, the, the best, no? Well, you have the best of both worlds. Any ideas? Mm -hmm. So you have two opportunities now. You have the best of two opportunities. You know, sometimes in life, we choose, and we choose either one side for a better opportunity. Like I could say, well, I get to work in either Britain or or Germany. I get the best of both worlds. You know, you can choose Britain or Germany, and you know, you get a good job. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you can enjoy two different opportunities and have the same effect. All right? So it has to be two, op two opportunities. The bigger they are, I hope, so that makes sense, right? Yeah, just, yes, yes. Okay. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. The bigger they are hard. What is the hard? The more, the more. Uh-huh. Think about it. If you're a tall person and you fall, what happens to you? You will be injured. Yeah. You'll be injured uh, or maybe more devastating, uh, more uh, higher injury. So when so I don't know, like, I don't know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Like we used it, I usually use this with tall people. You know, I'm talking to them. We use this because if you're really big and you fall down, you're going to get hurt a lot quicker than someone who's like really short. Right? Like look when you're a baby, how many times you fall. Does it hurt? Probably not. The last straw. This is the last straw. No more after this. Last attempt, no? La yeah, the, the last... The last attempt of something. Any, any examples, you guys? No. I don't know. Maybe you, Michael, <laughs> try yeah. to, to, to make an example. Yeah. I was late for school three times, and, that's, and the principal said, this is the last straw. So he gave me the last warning. Mm -hmm. That's the last attempt. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Third time's a charm. I don't know. On the third attempt, sometimes it's the best. Uh huh. On the third attempt. Third time. Yeah, third time. Well, third time is is always the the lucky one. Mm -hmm. We use it as a response, not in a sentence. You know, he tried to hit the ball three times. No, he tried to hit the ball. The third time was a charm. Uh -huh. Sometimes so you have three strikes you're out. Maybe on the third time you'll get you'll you'll hit the baseball. 
Okay. Tie the knot. Why are we not going to know this? To get married. Uh, what is uh, what is a knot? Knot. You know when you take something and you you tie your shoes, and sometimes you get it into a knot and you uh, can't get it out of it. Okay, okay, I understand. So it's like marriage, right? You, yeah. you tie the knot, you can't get out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unless you get a divorce, but tie the knot. You're married now. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was always single for many years, and now he's finally going to tie the knot. Well, we know mm-hmm. what that. Okay. Uh, Till the cows come home. Mm-hmm. Will the cows ever come home? The village cows, no? Yeah, they come in home. Actually, they, that's right, they do come home. Cows yeah, know they, their way. Yeah, they know where their home is. They know where their home is. Till, till, but till is here with one L. Until. One L. One L, right? Hmm. Till, till the cows come home. But what does it mean? Like, until. Until yeah, but what what the phrase means? What the idiom means? Uh, I, I I don't to explain this one. It's like when the cows, uh, you know, the the time when the cows come home, I guess, for their milking. And so I guess it's a long period of time. Mm-hmm. So from here, possibly the fact that cows may be expected to return from milking in the morning. Uh, yeah, for a very long time. You can yeah, die it until the cows come home. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I usually used it. For for a very long duration. Because they won't come till morning for their milking. Usually they get cows get milked in the morning. To make a long story sto- uh to make a long story short. Yeah, this is uh like um cut the bullshit make a story short to make it uh, Long story short, I know this, yeah. You get to the point, yeah? Yeah, get to the point directly. Turn a blind eye. This is wrong. Where is there E there? I don't know why. It's Turn a blind eye. I don't know. Uh, when you you don't see, you, when, when you, wait, when you don't want to notice something. Mm-hmm. The police officer saw that he was uh, he had a gun on him, but he turned a blind eye. Oh, he didn't notice it. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, he did notice it, but he didn't he didn't want to see. It. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't want to see it. He saw it, but he didn't want to see it. Exactly. Turn okay. a blind eye. Uh huh. I'm under the weather today. If I tell everyone, I'm under. Like the a good mood. No. Under the weather, it it means you influenced by by weather, or you have a bad weather. Feeling bad? Feeling sick. Uh huh. Yeah. Under the weather. Okay. You know, change of weather sometimes uh, makes people sick. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Variety is the spice of life. I don't know. Sometimes change is good. Uh huh. You know, he always buys the same car in the same color. Maybe he needs a variety of spice of life. Mm hmm. We should no. We should tell him variety is the spice of life. Choose another car. Choose another brand. Water under the bridge. Uh, it's Something. A bad situation, maybe. What's done is done. It's all water under the bridge. Ah, okay. Water goes from one place to the other place. It disappears. That's it. It's gone. It's water mm-hmm. under the bridge. When pigs fly, I like this one. No, no, no way. Or, yeah. in, like, it will never happen, right? When something will never happen. Mm-hmm. When pigs fly, <laughs> never. Mm-hmm. X marks the spot. Um, I don't know. Well, you know how on maps you put an X there? Uh huh. You can see those old uh, pirate, pirate. Uh, like it, it's like a, it's like a target. 
Uh, a target. From Amerika. That has been found. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like on the map, right? Yeah. X marks the spot, we can say. You are what you eat. Ну, это известно, это famous, это, ты это то, что ты ешь. Yeah, it's understandable. So if you eat a Big Mac every day, what will happen? You will be a big fat man. You will look like a Big Mac. Yeah. 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 What you eat is who you will become. Uh -huh. You can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, it's also understandable. Understandable, uh, like встречают по одежке, провожают по уму. Yeah, we have this expression. Yeah, the first uh, impression mm -hmm. is not always correct, right? I mean, you know, you have, oh, everyone has a first impression of someone when they meet them. It's not always correct. So it's the same as a book. If you judge a book by its cover, maybe it's a good book, but the cover isn't good. Maybe the cover is good, but the book isn't good. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. Your guess. We are both, we are both wrong, no? Both of us are wrong? Are we wrong? No, no. Ah, we both don't know, okay. Two people don't know. Give me no last sentence. No. Mm -hmm. Last sentence. Are you gonna give me a sentence for that? No. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, tomorrow we will have rain. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, you don't know. Yeah, your guess uh, as good as mine. Well, I, I was uh, like. Uh, Hmm, how would I say this? Okay, I'll try to use it in your response. Um, I don't know. Okay, uh, you're you're listening to the weather, and yep. the weather person is saying it's going to rain, and you're with a friend, and uh, you ask your friend, "What do you think? It's going to rain?" And your friend says, "Your guess is as good as mine." You both don't know. Yeah. We're lost. Where are we? Your guess is as good as mine. Uh huh. Okay. Both of us don't know. Don't you're, have an idea. You're both clueless. That's what it that means. Yeah. So no, that's what we use as we use it as a response. Oh, okay. As a response. All right. So hey, I like these idioms. They're they're useful, right? And they're to know. Yeah, they're what very you useful. Talking about. You probably won't use them, maybe, but hey, okay, they're good to know. So. Wish there were more people to uh, come to the second uh, to the second part because um, idioms are very important. Very important. Maybe it's something I'll cover again. Uh, if I get a lot of students, I'll definitely. If I know I'm going to get a lot, lot of students come, I'll definitely cover uh, the idioms again because it's uh, no one has a clue about idioms, especially uh, at yeah, the intermediate yeah. level. So I need to know ahead of time, but we'll see what happens in the future. But Idioms are, are, are excellent, as good as a grammar class. So, mm -hmm. all right. Any questions for me? No, no questions. No? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Everyone, it's Thursday evening. Enjoy the rest of it. Yeah. This bye. Okay, bye bye.